guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna show you how I get my little beachy, wavy hair look that I have got going on today. So I've been wearing it like this for a couple of weeks now because I bought these, I call them hair crimpers, but I don't think they're crimpers because I think crimpers is when they're kind of like, duh, 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 duh. So these maybe are hair wavers, I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna call them crimpers in this video. Um, I bought these from Amazon, about two or three weeks ago. They were $28.99 um, and I absolutely love them. I actually saw Lisa Prido. She does her hair like this all the time and I absolutely love the way her hair looks. So I totally copied her um, and I got these. I'll link them down below in my description box. And like I said, they're $28.99, so really reasonable and they just give you a really, really lovely look. We live down by the coast now and I think I sort of, in the summertime, I should, Kind of embrace the beachiness and I thought we would have some beachy looking hair. I've still got my Dyson Airwrap which I absolutely love but for something a little bit different I thought I would have my hair like this. It's really good if you've got hair like me and it's, um, I've, it's quite thin my hair, it's quite flat so it gives you quite a lot more body and you can sleep on it and the next day when you wake up it still looks really good. I do also use um, this John Frieda Frizzies, this is Dream Curl, it's like a daily styling spray. So I put this in first and then I go ahead and start um, crimping, curling, beach waving my hair. Um, so for me, a style does fall out quite easily, but if I use this, it really, really sticks in there for so much longer. And then if I need to, the next day or a couple of days later, I can just go over different sections to kind of like rejuvenate my hair. I'm gonna take this video back to when I had straight hair and show you how I get to this look. Right, so this is what my hair looks like before it is done. So it's just, I washed it last night. It's fairly flat and straight, my hair. But um, whenever I go to the hairdresser, they always say that I've got quite a lot of hair, but it's just very, very fine. So what I have to do first of all, well, first of all, I use my tangle teeter just to kind of go through and get out any knots. But at the same time, I don't really mind if it's a little bit um, knotty because I think it just adds a bit more texture to my hair. Um, so firstly I go in with this frizzies. So this is a dream curl styling spray. So I just kind of put them at the roots. I don't really know what I'm meant to do with this but I just kind of go like that and I think it just adds a little bit of something to my hair. I'm definitely no hairdresser as you guys can probably tell. Um, but this is kind of, I think I've seen other people use this texture spray and then I've just copied them to be honest with you so I just kind of like go in at my roots with it like this really roughly that'll do and then I just give it a little bit of a shake around so what I do first of all is I just section out my hair this is what I do while my um, little tongue things are heating up get smaller pieces to crimp. So this has two settings, either 210 degrees centigrade or 180. So I put it on 210 just because I find it like curls my hair quicker or crimps my hair quicker. But um, if you want to have less damage to your hair then put it on 180. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just feel like the 210 works better, like quicker. And also I feel like the crimp lasts a bit longer. So I've sectioned this bottom bit into two parts. I just get my little crimp thing and then put it about kind of a centimeter from the root and then I just clamp it in. At the end, you've got sort of like um, rubbery bits here that aren't hot to touch. So I just pinch them together, the middle one and one of the side ones together to make sure the little crimper is on my hair as tight as it can be. So you just wanna kind of hold it here for about 10 to 20 seconds. The good thing about this is you can leave it for like three or four days without washing it because you can put bits up and it still looks, because it's like a beachy look, it still looks okay. Usually I have to wash my hair every other day, but when I do this, I definitely can leave it for a lot longer. So what I do is I just release it, move the crimper down, and then clamp the next bit. Um, you don't want to really touch your hair because it's still going to be quite hot and then I feel like if you touch it you're just going to ruin your waves. Hold it here for another 10 to 20 seconds and then you want to move on to the next pass for your hair.
Right, so now you've done your bottom layer, like I said, you don't want to touch it until, um, I don't really run my fingers through it until the very, very end. So what I do then is now I just start sectioning bits out. And when I get a new bit, I twist it around like that to keep it together so it doesn't mingle with the hair that's already been done. So I just like to get one little section from each side, swizzle it together, and then put the other bit back up. And then I just run my fingers through that to kind of undo the swizzle, get my crimper, and do the same again. Right, so as you can see, when I get a piece of hair, I like to, like when I smooth it out and I run my fingers through it, I make sure that I try and get it as flat as possible. You don't want to get like a clump of hair and then try and crimp that because if you're going to do it and it's going to be like a sort of round ball of hair, it's just not going to crimp properly. You want to make sure that your hair is as flat as possible so that you can um, get the most hair along your crimper. I'm so bad at explaining things. <laughs> So as I get further up my hair, you can see there's a tiny little bit left out at the bottom here, just there. Um, but that's fine because what I do is I just leave that bit <clears throat> and then it just adds to kind of like the beachy effect I feel. But as my hair grows, I probably then need to do another section of crimping. The thing I love about this, like doing my hair this way, is because I'm not like the best person at doing hair. But with this, it doesn't matter if you like recrimp bits um, or if it's a little bit messy because it's meant to look a little bit messy and kind of like unperfected. So for me, that's the best way because like I just said, I'm not very good when it comes to hair and there's only a couple of things I can never really do with mine. So as I get further up, there is a bigger bit left over at the end. So I will just sort of try and crimp that end bit. Otherwise it will be quite a big straight bit at the end of my hair. See much body I'm getting up here, like so much body at the root. There we go. Right, when it comes to the top bit, as you can see, I am doing the back bit, so separately. So this front section I'm going to do side and side, but I like to do the back sections, not with the side sections, if that makes sense. Otherwise, I feel like my hair splits at the back and doesn't look very good. Right, when it comes to the last few pieces of my hair I always just crimp my hair to a middle parting um, and then I can kind of like decide if I want it middle or if I want it side um, like I said because you're having quite a beachy look it doesn't really matter how you do this because it's quite versatile with how you can um, wear your parting which is quite good I just really like the fact that it gives me so much body to my hair and it just doesn't make my hair as flat as it actually is in real life Right, last piece. It looks quite wild now, but I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of moments to cool down and then I'm going to be able to style it. Okay, right, so it's been a couple of minutes now and my hair has cooled down. So now I can just go through it and kind of like separate the bits with my hair. I don't have a wide tooth comb and I think a lot of people who do this hairstyle will then like go through it with a wide tooth comb but because my hair falls out really quickly and easily I also don't want to be doing that so then so I just give it a little scrunch like that and then throughout the day if I feel like it's um losing a bit of its puffiness I will just kind of scrunch it like this or I just head down to the beach and get some natural salt water and then it will make my hair stick for longer so yeah this is basically all I do. So like I said, sometimes I wear my hair on one side, but other times like I can just keep it in the middle like that. I don't know, I kind of play with my hair a lot throughout the day. So I think I will probably just do it like that for now. But yeah, I really love this look. I feel like it's so easy to wear and you can sleep in it. You can wake up the next morning and it still looks really good, I think. Lots of people on Instagram have asked me how I do my hair, which is why obviously I thought I would do this video. Um, but I hope it's helped you. And if you like this kind of look, like I said, I'll link the product down below in my description box. Um, it probably takes you about 15 minutes to get this look. If you've got longer hair, it might take a little bit longer or if you're better at hair it might take you a little bit less time i'm not too sure but yeah thanks so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time bye